Hello Internet, welcome back to our tutorial series. In the last episode we gathered all the supplies from our evac shelter into one place so that we could uh, quickly look over the supplies that we have available to us. In this episode I want to talk about the hunger system in Cataclysm and what to look for in food and drink. Now this is something that people really really struggle with. I see people on the Discord all the time either complaining about it or asking how it works. There are two components to the, uh, let's call it the hunger system in Cataclysm. The first is this here. You'll see we are currently listed as hungry. This will most frequently read as very hungry. Sometimes it will be peckish. You will get to starving and things like that as you progress on hunger. That is one aspect. What this means is that your stomach is currently empty. Okay? The hungrier you are, the less contents your stomach contain is essentially what that means, okay? Then we have in the at menu, if we press the at key, which is shift and two on the QWERTY keyboard, it's the symbol at that you see in your email. It will bring up the character menu and what we're looking for is right here, we're looking at weight, okay? And currently we are overweight. Most characters begin as slightly overweight unless you take a trait that changes your starting weight. I believe that is extra, extra, extra large trait and extra, extra, extra small start you at emaciated and I think morbidly obese. Um, don't quote me on that, but so those two things work together. Now, weight represents your calorie storage. So basically what happens in Cataclysm is that you eat a food, okay? That food goes into your stomach and when your stomach has food in it, your hunger goes away, okay? Now, your stomach will process that food, break it down into calories, and then add that to a hidden value, which is your calorie storage inside your body. You can think about this like in real life. You eat food because you feel hungry. Your stomach feels empty, right? I believe hunger is triggered by emptiness in the stomach. There's like sensors in the top part of your stomach to determine how full you are, and that reflects your hunger. Um, that feeling of hunger that you get, I think, is how that works. Don't quote me on that either. I think uh, weight loss surgery where they remove part of that stomach is because that removes your sensation of feeling hungry. I think is how that... Anyway, so you take food into your body, it goes into your stomach. Your body begins to process that and uses that up for nutrients and calories and all that good stuff that your body needs. And then, depending on the amount of calories put into your body it will store that in fat, right? If you if you eat more calories than you actually use over a course of, of a week or whatever, those calories continue, many of them remain in your body in fat storage and that kind of stuff. So it's a similar system in Cataclysm. You eat something, it affects your immediate hunger, and then it begins to process that and add that to a hidden value which determines your calorie storage. So your calorie storage is what your weight is telling you. So overweight, means we have a certain amount of calorie storage. As we begin to eat fewer and fewer calories, our body will use up our calorie reserves and this will shift down to normal weight. And if we continue to under eat and we continue to use more calories than we actually eat on a daily basis, we'll begin becoming malnourished, emaciated, all that kind of stuff, emaciated. Similarly, if we eat too, too many calories, we will begin, uh, we will continue growing overweight and slip into obesity and morbid obesity. Now, at the moment, most of the various weights don't really have negative health implications. It's just once you start getting to obese, and I think, I don't know if malnourished gives you stat penalties. Not 100% on that. I never really get there. I usually teeter between overweight and normal because I, I know how to eat in Cataclysm so that I stay in that range, and that's really where you should focus on as well. So currently we're hungry, but because we're overweight, we don't really need a lot of calories. We have calorie stores that we can take advantage of. So we could eat something just to make our hunger go away, um, but we don't really wanna eat high calorie foods because we don't wanna continue growing overweight. So let's look at a food item the easiest way to do this is to use shift E when you're near food. It will bring up the consume menu. Now this applies to more than just food. You'll see it's listing the ammonia and bleach. That is because we could drink them. Uh, and it also displays water. So it's not really an eat menu. It's more of a consume menu. And then depending on bionics and that kind of stuff, you can actually eat additional things that most people would not be able to eat. So what values do we really need to focus on when we need to eat something? 
Well, for food, we're looking primarily at two things. We're looking at, well, I look primarily at two things. I look at calories, which is the number of calories that the eating this food will put into our body. And I look at shelf life, which determines how long it will be before this food goes bad. In fact, if, well, we're not really ready to venture out yet, I would like to show you some perishable. Let's just spawn a perishable item, something that doesn't really matter that we don't need to take advantage of. Just give me some wild vegetables. Don't look at this menu, don't get spoilers. Uh, so we'll go, uh, it doesn't matter. Just something perishable, give me this. Okay, we go into our eat menu. They're indefinite, okay. Okay, I've spawned some wild vegetables in and you'll see that compared to the rations uh, that have 400 calories, wild vegetables only have 25. That's literally 1 16th of what this value is. Similarly, they actually have a shelf life. Now the wrappers for the, or the protein rations are intended to be shelf stable food. And so they never ever will go bad. We can eat them three years from now and they will have the same calories and the same stats that they, they, they have currently. Wild vegetables, on the other hand, up here have three days of shelf life, which means we can eat them for the next three days, but after that they will rot and they will become not good to eat and they will make you sick to eat them. And so the two things that most determine what I'm eating in the game is the calorie count and how long until it goes bad. So as you pile up food, because Cataclysm is a game about building giant piles of stuff. That's 99% of why I play the game. That's not true, it's a great game. Uh, you will wanna eat the things that are gonna go bad the fastest because once they go bad, you get no value out of them. Whereas, as long as they're good, this gives 25 calories. A week from now, it gives zero calories and it's like I never picked it up in the first place. So generally, you wanna eat the things that are going bad the fastest. And then you're going to want to address which of those things has the best calorie count for my current situation. So in a situation like this where we're hungry, but we don't actually need calories because we're overweight, we don't need a ton of calories, I would rather eat something, no, eat, nope, caps lock off. I would rather eat something that has low calories, but a decent volume um, because it will fill up our stomach more and make us less hungry without delivering a bunch of calories. So since we're overweight, yeah, we could eat two of these uh, rations to get our hunger to go away, but that's 800 calories that we don't necessarily need. I would rather eat something with a lower calorie count just to fill my stomach and make the hungry tag go away. Now, in addition to the hungry tag, there's also a thirst um, tags that will pop up, you know, thirsty, very thirsty, dehydrated, that kind of stuff. And it's, it works the same way, essentially. Um, you have a certain, well, actually it doesn't work the same way. It will fill your stomach. So you, if you're hungry and you don't really wanna eat, you can just drink a lot. That will make the hungry flag go away. But mostly uh, for drinks, all that really matters is quench. Again, I will look at shelf life. Some things you find, you, you find a jar, a can of OJ or something orange juice, you know, and it's going to go bad in three days, you should probably drink that before you drink your water because water doesn't go bad. And in Cataclysm, there's no tracking of like uh, water going stagnant or, you know, anything like that. So uh, once it's clean water, it's clean water forever, uh, as far as I know, and you can drink it whenever you want. So the main thing to look for there is quench. And you'll see the chemicals have a very strong negative quench. And that is because all of these values, regardless of what item you're looking at, can have negative values. So we might eat, let's say, potato chips. They'll give us calories, but they'll reduce our quench. In fact, that's what we see here with these rations, is that although they're very filling, they do drop your quench, which makes you more thirsty because I guess they're dry. Uh, you know, we never looked at the ration. Let's look at that description just out of curiosity. We can do this a couple ways. You can pick it up and look at it in your inventory, or you can just find it in this list and scroll over it. This is a little harder to look at, so I usually do pick things up when I want to examine them. And we'll just press enter on this in our inventory and it will bring up this menu. And then we can use page up and page down to scroll this. So Palooza uh, ran a su successful crowdfunding campaign for this protein bar. Person can live on one of these bars three times a day, presumably forever. After bakers, backers received their product, a single flaw was found. Most consumers found starvation preferable to the flavor. Warehouses of the product went unsold. 
Uh, they went bank, they go bankrupt, providing the perfect opportunity for FEMA to stock their shelters. Now you hold a piece of famous crowdfunding in your hands. Yeah, and so that's uh, that's great. Um, they they reduce your quench. Now the other thing we haven't talked about is joy. Basically, in Cataclysm, we you can view this by pressing the V key, lowercase v. It will bring up your morale menu, uh, and morale does some stuff. We'll talk more in detail about this later. But for now, um, we just look at positive and negative morale. You'll see we're getting a little warm because of our clothing. You'll see our temperature is listed as warm, which is giving us something of a mood debuff. We're not really happy that we're so hot. So you'll see we have a negative four. If we were to eat, uh, say, these wild vegetables, they have a joy of negative 10, so they would put us in an even worse mood. And then we look at something like ammonia or bleach. In addition to making us very sick, and I'm pretty sure it burns you and causes you actual damage in the game, it would reduce our joy by 30. So joy is not super, super relevant. We'll talk about morale as we get around to crafting and things like that. But for now, just know that, you know, joy exists, you know. And if you're in a bad mood, try to eat something that'll raise your, raise your joy. You know, a chocolate bar or Pop-Tarts, that kind of stuff. Um, will raise your mood considerably. And so if you're looking for a way to raise your mood, a good way to do that is to eat foods like that, uh, have a drink of alcohol, that kind of thing will raise your mood. There are also tools and drugs and other items in the game that will increase your mood. And uh, as well as uh, these things showing up in the eat menu, our medications also show up in this capital E menu. So if you need to uh, take some aspirin they will be in this list or uh well i would apply bandages but i'm pretty sure you can use the e-menu for a lot of medical supplies as well and certainly for drugs as well um so we are hungry but i'm gonna go ahead and drop these items we don't actually want i just spawned them in for an example i spawned in the stems by mistake they're actually seeds for planting them i forgot about that so um, so for now, I think that's it. I just wanted to go over the food and drink menu and talk about what I look for in food and how the hunger system works. So again, hungry means your stomach is empty or mostly empty or whatever. You can get rid of this status effect by eating low calorie foods or high calorie foods. It doesn't matter. It's based on the volume that it takes up in your stomach. Similarly, you can just drink water, which again, contributes to your stomach's storage um, to get this hunger tag to go away. Now, eating calories is more important based on your weight. If you notice you're at normal weight or you're slipping down or you start getting messages saying that you need more nourishing food, those are indicators that you need to eat more calories. Doesn't matter what your hunger is so much, it's about your calorie count. Those are two separate entities, right? And so most of the time when I'm trying to put calories in my body, which you need, like, I think the value is around 2,000 or 2,500 a day. I actually don't really know what the exact number is because it doesn't really matter. Ultimately, you eat to fit within those guidelines of your weight and your hunger. You should not be trying to min-max so much. I know a lot of people do that, but it just eat like a normal person. You know, if you're hungry and you feel like you haven't gotten many calories today, eat high calorie food. If you notice your weight is slipping, eat high calorie food. If you're hungry but you're overweight, just eat low calorie food that has a decent volume to it. Eat a, you know, when you're hungry, eat meat, or I'm sorry, when you're missing calories, eat meat, eat high calorie content foods. When you're, when you're getting overweight and you're trying to lose weight, eat low calorie foods like cabbages, lettuce, pumpkins, things like that, that have a low calorie count, but still fill your stomach if you're just trying to take care of your hunger. So yeah, it's not a hard thing. It does take a little practice to get used to. I do not understand. A lot of people have confusion over that. I just don't really get that. It's always been pretty second nature to me. If you eat like you do in real life, you know, have one big meal a day or two big meals a day and then eat snacks throughout the day whenever you get hungry, that makes sense to me. And I, I don't really understand why people struggle with it so so much um but so that's the food system in cataclysm and uh yeah i think that'll be a wrap on this episode again short episode just wanted to address one specific thing so thank you for watching hopefully you enjoyed i'll be back with more tutorial style content for cataclysm in the near future and uh, i'll see you next time